Hello people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today, as always, and I know it's been a quick minute since I've made one of these tutorials, but with the newest release of OS X being El Capitan, I figured it was time to start making tutorials once again and show you guys all the cool new stuff that you can do with this operating system. So today's tutorial is on how to customize icons in OS X El Capitan. Typically, this is a very simple and easy process, but with the newest addition to El Capitan being security, integrity, protection, it's a little bit more difficult to customize icons now. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is reboot your Mac into recovery mode. We need to do this in order to disable security integrity protection because when we are in recovery mode, we can access the super user terminal. Now, I tried to do this just using the super user terminal in regular OS X, not in the recovery mode, but it tells you even as the super user that in order to make this change, in order to disable security integrity protection, you have to be in recovery mode. So once you have your Mac in recovery mode, you just want to go in the USX utilities toolbar. You want to go to utilities and then down to terminal. And once the terminal window launches, you want to type CSRUTIL disable. I'll have that command in the bottom below and you can actually append this command with a semicolon and the word reboot and that will not only disable security integrity protection but then reboot your Mac at the same time as well. And basically by disabling security integrity protection this is going to allow you to edit and modify system level files. And once your Mac reboots you can actually check to make sure that security integrity protection is turned off by issuing that same CSR UTIL command but with status at the end instead of disable. And then you can start customizing your icons and you can get icon files from sites like Icon Finder or DeviantArt or Dribbble. But if you want to convert, let's say, a picture file like a PNG or a JPEG to an icon file, I like to use this handy app called IMG to ICNS. And it basically converts any image to either a folder icon or an application icon. And then from there, you can use a free app like Light Icon to actually change the icons just by dragging and dropping the files. Now, some applications might require you to log out or even restart in order to have the changes take effect, but usually you can force the change and the icons to change just by issuing the kill all finder command, and fortunately apps like Light Icon have a built-in button for that. So that is how you customize icons in OS X El Capitan. Let me know in the comments section down below what your favorite site to get icons from is. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please click on that like button. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Mac and iOS tutorials. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.